reviews and ratings that you get for your own product and your competitor's product can play a interesting role in determining how to improve your product listing. Now, one of the few aspects that why reviews and ratings are important is because it gives uh, the consumer social proof of how good or bad your product is. It helps build trust pretty quickly. Um, if a product with five reviews uh, has significantly less trust that is built as compared to a product with 10,000 uh, equally good reviews and hence building that trust factor is important and also Amazon like I said rewards those products which have good reviews and hence uh, having better reviews and number of ratings can help you improve your search visibility of your product as well uh, and obviously the reviews influence to a very large degree the purchase decision of your product. Uh, we have typically seen that products with uh, more than 20 reviews perform um, comparatively well, considerably well compared to products that do not have that many reviews in terms of KPIs like conversion rate, um, ad, opt ad optimization strategies and so on. It also conveys, uh, it gives valuable customer feedback as well and also uh, in a way reviews help in uh, convincing the customers to compare your product um, versus your competitors as well. There are a few ways in which you can use your own reviews and your competitor reviews to improve your listing. The first one is to use those to identify your strengths and weaknesses. It's very important to know what the consumers think of your brand and the best way to know that is by analyzing the reviews that you get. Um, it's also very important to keep a track of new and the latest reviews that your competitors get as well to kind of get a sense of where their strengths and weaknesses are. Do they have bad packaging? Are customers unhappy with using the product? And if so, what specifically? And you can use that information to improve your listing, to put images and to position your brand so that they can allay those fears or remove those fears of potentially new customers. Um, and those optimizations uh, need to take place on an often basis so that you know your product has the best possible positioning in the market. Um, you can also use that as an opportunity to identify possibilities to cross sell and to upsell uh, in the opportunity where you can identify that in some cases, for example, if a customer, if a lot of reviews come across as if a customer is expecting a certain product to be included, um, based on either the images or just the perception um, then and if it is not then it, it can be a cause for a lot of negative reviews to come in for example if you're selling laundry products or a laundry powder um, and none of your competitors are including a scoop in the product for example and you understand that through the reviews that customers expect a scoop in your laundry powder then you can use that information to either include the <laughs> Uh, the laundry scoop in your uh, product or make it very evident that your product does not have it so that um, customers who are expecting it will not buy it and hence will not leave bad reviews and hence the returns would be less and so that's just one example of what uh, could be given and plus I think uh, those reviews can be a great opportunity to connect directly with customers or when I say directly directly through Amazon's platform uh, to build a strong rapport if uh, you spend enough time to responding to each and every query each and every review each and every message in a very quick way that can result in long-term customer loyalty and reduce the amount of negative reviews that uh, you may get on your product.